Hi everyone, it's Adam Brown here from ISW and Kudos Badges. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video for you to demonstrate the integration of Kudos Badges with IBM Connections 4. Uh, Kudos Badges is a reward and recognition platform that can accelerate uh, adoption of IBM Connections by encouraging users to leverage the full range of social services and to drive user adoption and behavior across the Connections platform. Um, fundamentally, Kudos is a, a flexible reward engine for connections that provides achievements and ranks, uh, uh, rewards and leaderboards, challenges and missions, and all these things help organizations to dramatically improve their user engagement and adoption of IBM connections, um, ensuring that you get value from your investment in the platform. Um, Kudos also has a peer-to-peer -peer recognition capability called Kudos Thanks that enables colleagues to recognize great work and thank their peers. Um, so let's jump straight into IBM Connections 4 and see how it looks. Okay, so the first thing that you'll see on the right-hand side is the Kudos Leaderboard. The Kudos Leaderboard is a reflection of people's Kudos rank based on points that they've earned. Uh, the way that uh, people earn points um, in Connections is through everyday activity and content creation in the Connections environment. So, for example, if you create a status update, you might earn a Kudos point. Or if you um, create a blog, you might earn five Kudos points. And, and for each blog entry that you create, you might get another Kudos point. Um, importantly, uh, the way the system is designed, you earn points for not only the quantity of content that you're creating, but importantly, the quality of content. So if somebody uh, recommends your blog entry or comments on your blog entry, not only will they get uh, points for their activity, but you'll get extra points because it's your content that was recommended or commented on. And the system's very flexible in, in how it can be configured uh, to reward and motivate different activity. So as people uh, earn their kudos points, they move up the kudos leaderboard. And we can see here with the leaderboard, we can view the leaderboard uh, either by everybody in the entire environment, or probably more importantly, by people in my network. So I can see how I rank in comparison to, to my direct peers and colleagues. And it creates a friendly uh, competition to encourage people to contribute a little bit more into their connections environment. Um, we can view people uh, by their rank, and we can also view people by the number of badges that they've earned, which I'll, I'll show you uh, badging in a moment. Um, we can drill down into individual categories across connections, so maybe we want to look at just profiles, and we can see the, the kudos rank for the points achieved for just profiles. Um, we can also uh, view time frames, so importantly with a leaderboard, uh, you want to ensure that it continually motivates people and that they maintain their involvement. So the kudos leaderboard enables us to show um, the points earned in a date range, and this is flexible. We've got our environment set to 30 days, 90 days, 180 days, 365 days, and, and all time. Uh, so that enables us to see what people have contributed and how many points they've earned all time, but it also means that it keeps, uh, I guess, the competition fresh and, and full of energy um, based on the, the last 30 days of activity as well. Now, as we sort of mouse over people, you can see a, a small chart appears, and this chart enables us to see where the people are earning their points from. So you can see here this chart for myself. Uh, I get a lot of my uh, kudos uh, points from activity with inside profiles. So I'm, I do a lot of microblogging. I uh, tag a few people, um, but then I also have got a, you know 15 percent of my points from activities, 26% of my points from uh, files, uh, but you can also um, uh, see that maybe for blogs I, I could do a little bit better. And then if we go to somebody else, we can see that they, they get a different breakdown. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can scroll through the leaderboard and sort of see uh, different people in your network. You can also change the default view to say show the, the top five people or, or say the top ten or whichever uh, selection you want to have. 
Um, so that's the, the Kudos leaderboard. Let me jump through to somebody's profile. I might as well just go to my own. And once I'm on my profile, you'll note on the right hand side, we have what we call the, the Kudos summary. So the Kudos summary is a, a representation of the badges that I've recently earned. And you can see there's a whole range of badges across uh, the different features we have, you know, blogging badges and files related badges and community badges and uh, forum related badges across all the features. And you can also build your own custom badges um, that uh, relate well to your business or maybe to specific communities that you want to drive adoption in. You can build uh, badges for those as well. Um, the, the way the badging system tends to work is that they, the badges progressively get more difficult. So you can see here this Files Fly, Firefly badge, which is awarded for sharing over 30 files uh, with at least 100 tags, right? But to get to the next level, um, people uh, need to not only create and sh uh, share some more files and tags, but they also need to um, upload and put them into some folders. So the, the tool does, is designed to progressively uh, increase the challenge level or the complexity of the badges so that people continue to progress deeper and broader across the solution. Um, the, uh, directly underneath the kudos summary, we can see the thanks summary uh, widget. So the thanks summary is the peer-to-peer -peer badges that we can give each other, which I'll come back to and, and show you a bit more detail uh, shortly. Um, on the on the left hand side, we can see we've got a profile progress uh, widget, and this widget basically enables you to configure a series of challenges or tasks that you want people to complete in order to update and maintain their profile. So you can see there that currently my profile is 95% complete and the profile could be improved by um, following some more people or maybe it's to create some more tags or join your first community or create your first blog or whatever it might be with, with inside connections we can uh, hook and connect the profile progress widget uh, to those things. Now, with the Kudos summary, I can uh, view all, and it takes us to the Kudos Badges tab. So the Kudos Badges uh, tab shows us a whole lot more detail about my progression uh, within the connections environment. Firstly, we can see uh, my overall rank is, is first, which is great. With I've got a score of 4,729 points um, based on all time. Um, I'm what we call a kudos veteran. So we have the concept of achievement levels. So everybody starts as a, a newbie and progresses to a rookie, pro, veteran, all-star all and hall of fame. And, and these levels are completely configurable. All the badges that you see, all the messages that you see, um, how you win them, the criteria, the ranks, everything is completely flexible and configured by your kudos administrator. Um, we can see here as well that uh, we use another progress bar to indicate um, that I've got 271 points to go to reach the next level of, of all stars. So, so it's not far and, and that progress bar is very powerful at motivating me to, to keep going and keep contributing uh, content and uh, activity with Inside Connections. Um, directly under that we can see that we have um, what we call the kudos carousel. So the kudos carousel is a representation of different categories of badges or challenges uh, with inside kudos that um, the user is, is progressing through. So we can see here if I click on bookmarks um, down the bottom it refreshes and we can see the uh, bookmark badges that I've uh, I have already earned so for example the the bookmark beginner which is a very easy badge to uh, win by uh, awarded for creating your first bookmark but equally I've because I've been going for a while now I've got the bookmark bandit which is a hundred plus uh, bookmarks importantly though I can also see the the remaining badges that I'm yet to earn so we've got the bookmark king and the bookmark master badges which I'm, I'm yet to achieve um, equally, if I look at, say, uh, forums, you can see here a range of different badges that can be won. So um, it might be, for example, um, uh, Forum Freakout, which is awarded for creating a forum post that has 200 or more comments. So that would obviously be uh, a pretty difficult to achieve badge, but, but can be done if you contribute really good valued content. 
Um, or maybe the, the Go To Person badge, which is awarded for providing over 50 answers to questions that were accepted by the poster. Um, so we have a whole range of different badges across all the features, but the carousel is also very powerful and encouraging people to focus on different areas. So maybe I'm doing very well on bookmarks, but I've only got two of ten badges for blogging. So you know that helps to encourage me to uh, perform and, and do a bit more um, blogging. Now the other thing that uh, I pointed out before was the the kudos. Uh, thanks uh, summary widget. So obviously these are peer-to-peer -peer badges and if I go to the kudos thanks tab we can see here a bit more detail so the idea is is that we wanted to enable uh, colleagues and users of connections to really recognize uh, people you know we all do annual performance reviews uh, but we wanted to capture uh, great work in the moment. So we can see here I've received a couple of badges. So Scott there thanked me for assisting the other week moving our, our data center. Um, and I can also see, um, you know, John Bilson's there thanked me for getting a connection for environment up and running. So that's really great. But I can also go in and see uh, thanks that have been given. So I can see here uh, that I've awarded a few uh, diligence ba badges. So I've thanked uh, Meg and Scott Lees for building our new website and also some great work that Scotty Lees did recently um, at, at one of our clients, which is which was good stuff. So um, basically, you can uh, create a, a series of thank you related badges and, and I might like to uh, thank one of my colleagues. It, it uses type ahead, so if I... Uh, type ahead here, maybe it was John Bilson, um, I can say, you know, a different range of badges, like maybe it's employee of the month, maybe it's for great teamwork, um, you know, diligence, and you can create your own um, badges as well uh, that you want to have. One, one of the important things uh, with the thanks badges is the concept of scarcity value. So the idea that users can um, only give out a certain number of these badges. So you can configure thank you badges so that it's restricted to just a couple of um, uh, uh, badges per day or per month or per year or whatever it might be. We also have manager badges that can only be awarded by, by certain users. So the idea is you select the badge, you type in um, a message, a personalized message. So thanks for the great work on the DB2 upgrade um, and we can also tag as we go um, so you know often uh, people tag pe uh, different users but if we can actually capture that as we go we might tag John with DB2 and I can send that update okay so if we now go to the uh, home page and look at the discover tab when people uh, win badges or when they're thanked by their peers, uh, it feeds through into their activity stream. And we can see here um, a thank you badge where Andrew Welsh recently thanked uh, one of our guys, Jay, um, for some help with some database work. And we've integrated into the IBM Connections activity stream so that you know we can uh, like that badge and, and acknowledge that it was good work. And we can also add some comments. So uh, I will just... Uh, add something here um, and and sort of add my congratulations or thanks as well to, to the badge that's been given um, within Kudos. Now the other thing that is worth uh, pointing out here is the, uh, the ability to thank uh, users from anywhere with inside IBM Connections. So you'll note at the very top we've got the give thanks menu item and when we click on that it brings up uh, a dialogue which enables us to give thanks like universal thanks from anywhere within inside the system so so that's really neat uh, so look there's a, a I guess a quick overview of, of kudos badges uh, with IBM connections for um, we'd be very happy to, to discuss it and provide a bit more information as required uh, if you'd like to contact us and find out a bit more detail um, simply go to our, our Kudos Badges website at kudosbadges.com and you can contact us on the, uh, the Get It page and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for listening and uh, hope to talk to you all soon.